Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. I hope you like and subscribe. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Cancer in your chart, it might resonate. If it doesn't resonate, that's all right. Just go check out the other signs in your chart. Even if it does resonate, checking out the other signs in your chart helps my little YouTube baby grow. And something's telling me to go right here. Okay, I'm doing it. Um, even if it does resonate, by checking out your other signs, you're helping my little YouTube baby grow as I build towards a thousand subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your fam family if it resonates. If you're cross-watching, show the Cancer who you're cross-watching for. Uh, it's been quite some time, Cancer, so I... Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe you've been in a bit of a hermit mode and needed to kind of like lose touch with people. So now you're back. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's go. And this was the card I really wanted to go for. So you may be dealing with someone who has some mental illness sketchy there's a cricket <laughs> I only see you as a friend maybe you work with people who are mentally unstable meaning like they you do you work with mentally handicapped people but I'm also thinking that there's a there's another meaning to that. There's someone who feels like their work environment, they just work with a bunch of nuts, I'm hearing. I trusted you. These colors are giving me fire sign energy. Unexpected pregnancy, I know. Classy, graceful. I get a feeling of, all right, I'm just gonna say it. Someone like, this is a casual, could have been a friends with benefits or like someone uh, who you were dating but you didn't see it going anywhere long term. And um, I think someone acknowledges that they have their own mental health that they need to focus on and worry about. Um, I think that someone... Um, this is having unprotected sex because you trusted that this person said that they had protection or were using protection or that th this is something as far as like as someone saying that they've had a vasectomy and they really haven't or a woman saying she has her tubes tied or has an IUD and she really doesn't um <clears throat> which would tie in with mentally unstable and ill Oh, it was an unexpected pregnancy, but it's like really kind of sketchy around the situation. But someone handles this with um, class and grace. Um, I'm getting whatever that means to you because I'm taking it as two ways. I, I get a feeling there might actually have been someone who got pregnant but then um, had a procedure and handled it with class and grace or <clears throat> or this is an unexpected pregnancy and both people are handing it handling it with class and grace even though this is not there's something sketchy about this someone is not going to um and it may only be like your friends you're treating it as like a friend that you got pregnant, but you're handling it with strength because someone was single, single. We were each single, but we were not together. I'm taking this as two ways. 
someone was single, single, like I am single, but I am hooking up with my friend over here, but I'm single, and, and seeing it as two people who were single. You go, girl. That just came out the other day with, uh, I got a pregnancy reading the other day for Gemini, I think. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, you want to check out that, um, oh, or if you have that in your, um, chart, I'm getting like the modern family card too. It's not here, but this is, um, maybe it's acknowledging that like someone is mentally unstable for us to be together but we're gonna make this work. I don't think it's something that is like unhealthy, like putting people at harm. I think it's just, I don't want to take, how do I do, how do I say this? It's like seeing the red flags, seeing that the red flags aren't being worked on or acknowledged and someone and it's okay to do this. Choosing not to um, choosing not to take on someone and their red flags when the red flags aren't being worked on. Does that make sense? The Wheel of Fortune. Timing. Knight of Swords. Ooh. Ooh, and it just fell in the Gemini card is here. I don't even mean for that to happen. So, I've said Gemini now a couple times in this. The fact that this is a cancer reading and I do Gemini cancer cusp readings leads me to want to say if this is a cancer born June 21st through the 23rd, you may want to check out those readings because um, there could be something there for you. Knight of Swords. So I'm looking at the star. I feel like you might. These are beautiful cards right here, Cancer. I feel like I'm looking at something that's building up and is this is like divine timing because this is I don't even know if I said timing like this is the right time or this is this is talking to someone it doesn't have to be a Gemini but it's a connection the Leo card is here as well and I'm also realizing there's like a sequence here the Gemini goes to Cancer goes to Leo so maybe something happened over the summer or you're connected with someone with those um signs in their chart but um now the star is here reverse that's so aquarius energy it has been here now twice and the world is here in reverse i just got the impression like those cards were so beautiful and now this with still the card of timing here this is this is talking to me about um, handling something with grace that is not going forward. There really could have been the ending of um, a pregnancy or um, A change of direction I'm thinking with someone doing what they felt was like the right thing to do at the time I feel like someone had a whole world and their world got turned upside down and they have a new world now and it's not necessarily a bad one it's just a new one the star and the world are in reverse because it's new and this isn't what they <clears throat> expected or
This is also a feeling of like, it's a, it's wounds. Maybe it's a wound, like a connection that will never be repaired, cancer. But they're there in your life and you will, they'll always be a part of your life as a friend, maybe. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy with the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Eight of Swords. Someone could be born in 88, or that's Leo energy. It's also strong. <clears throat> what a terrible sound. All of these cards show a woman, like I can only see half of her face, but she's looking forward in each of these cards, even in reverse, she's, they're all looking forward. So this is like handling something with grace, even if it's, it's not helpful or it's been hurtful or it can't be fixed. Um, I also get like someone may do something where the conversations and the communication that they have regularly are not happy, positive conversations. This is like you are either like, um, like you could be a therapist or you just hear people's stories that are really sad and or, um, People like tell you about their wounds and you, this is part of like what you do is you listen to their stories and you communicate. Queen of Pentacles, um, Upright is here with the Page of Pentacles, Reversed and the Ace of Swords. This is like, um, There really, really gives me a feeling of like an unexpected pregnancy here with the pictures and like seeing that there. Um, like it wasn't the right time. I also get like if it's not an unexpected pregnancy thing here like or maybe you and this person used to talk about pregnancy or whatever I get the feeling of like <clears throat> thinking about each other I don't know if there's communication going on but there's definitely this thought of like what if if this is someone who you did have an unexpected pregnancy with even if this is something that happened 10 years ago I feel like you both still think about it like what could have happened like what kind of life would I have had if this didn't happen or if this did happen five of swords reversed queen of swords is reversed here now at the bottom there's a lot a lot a lot of air energy here specifically Aquarius the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups reverse, followed by the Chariot reverse, followed by the Nine of Swords. I get this feeling of whatever someone knew they didn't want to go forward, they may have led someone to believe that they wanted it to go forward for a while, knowing damn well it was never going to go anywhere. This could literally have been leading someone on. You could have been leading someone on Cancer or they could have been leading you on, but I feel like they knew, they always knew that this was never going to go anywhere and this was always going to, I'm hearing like end up the way that it ended up. Cause someone was tethered, I'm hearing, to the idea of like happily ever after and I feel like it was talked about. 
It was talked about, like the possibility. Maybe there was a pregnancy and like it was talked about, like what would our lives be like if we continue on with this? Like heavily discussed, like what will, what do we want to do here? Nine of swords. I have a heavy feeling of regret of whatever, like this is, this is the page of pentacles with the page of pentacles. The ace of swords, like just look at the swords. Okay, they're going in either direction. And I'm imagining like he's thinking one thing, she's thinking the other. In the middle, does that not look like a baby coming out of someone? I've thought this for years. Here's her head, there's her boobs, here's her hands, here's a uh, birth canal, here's the baby, here's legs, the eye of God, like I don't know what you want to say, divine timing as well. And that card is sitting in front of me like this, in between what I'm like, these are two people who had different ideas about what they wanted to do with life. Maybe it was about starting a family. Maybe there wasn't actually a baby. Maybe someone wanted an unexpected pregnancy. I think someone has regrets like real regrets. Queen of Pentacles, reverse. I get the feeling, and the Queen of Pentacles is right here too. I get the feeling of like, this is some something that happened a while ago, Cancer, okay? This could be like, if you were talking like this with someone five years ago you're thinking about you eat I'm not saying right now you and they at the same time but like here and there you each think about where you would be like or where life would be if you had gone through with that and created the family and tried to get pregnant or continued with your unexpected whatever I feel like there's someone here who literally thinks about like also it could have been like you used to talk like this with someone this time last year you used to talk about like what if we had a baby like what if like we're just friends but we have a baby together and we um someone could have pitched that idea like what if we had a baby together and just remained friends and it was like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. And someone thinks the only card that has a baby would have a baby on it, the sun card, Leo. Six of wands, I don't think it happened. I think someone, I, I keep hearing pitched the idea. There could be someone who likes baseball or was a baseball player or a baseball hat wearer, but they pitched this idea of being like, friend co-parents they didn't want a whole relationship but they wanted to have a baby with you or you with them and it was suggested and it was like shot down or maybe there was an unexpected pregnancy and someone was like instead of this news being shocking what if we actually get together more gemini energy what if we get together and make it work and baby makes three coming in the clouds okay but instead, this was a shock and this was like either the suggestion to do it was a shock and it was shot down or this actual unexpe unexpected pregnancy was ended because it was there was someone who did not want to have that life of co-parenting with someone who is just a friend. That is so specific, but that's definitely the message here. It did not pan out the way someone had pitched it to be, but they think about like, if they had been talking about it this time a year ago, shit, man, they really tried, man. They may have suggested this a few times. They may, they may have said, I wanna get you pregnant a few times. And um, 
it was shot down but you've thought about like man if i had gotten if we had gotten pregnant then or if we had stayed with the pregnancy then i would have a six month old a two month old one of those people who's like look at my 53 month old <laughs> a seven month old two-year-old a three-year-old if you had gone down that path this is very specific but it's definitely for someone and I feel like I've been banging out messages today really short this is a whole other life that someone had suggested and it was shot down and I think that suggested or like if it was unexpected it actually happened you were pregnant it was like discussed like what if we actually tried to do this but there's something about not wanting it to be an actual relationship it was something of single 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 parent and a single parent and this is our child but we don't want to be together someone did not want to sign up for that <laughs> please let me know if it resonates if it doesn't, I wouldn't, I would be very understanding because this is so specific, but check out the other signs in your chart. If you want to send your girl a donation or a thank you, my Cash App and Venmo are in the description. And I thank you so much to those who have already sent me something because I really appreciate the support as I build up Tolda's love so I can start using YouTube itself as a form of income. So stay happy healthy and well cancer i'll see you next time